Hello everyone, my name is Mike, and this is The Board Cyborg. Let's open some boxes. Welcome back to yet another episode. I've got another unboxing for you guys. This time it's from 88 Films. I have 12 Blu-rays here. I sold off a bunch of my DVDs uh, to fund a lot of these. And I'm very, very excited because it's been like about a month since I ordered these from overseas, 88 Films. And I love what 88 Films is doing right now. Let me just say I'm very excited to unbox these. <laughs> Let's jump right in. And as a lot of these companies are doing, they this has a really nice and easy, well, maybe not so easy. Let's see. There we go. Nice and easy way to unbox them. All right, so, I'm excited. <laughs> First up. <laughs> oh, uh-oh. Eight Diagram Pole Fighter. That might actually be the book in there. Eight Diagram Pole Fighter is one of my favorite Shaw Brothers films, I believe from 1981 or 2 or 83. That's what it was. Of course, it has Gordon Liu, uh, uh, Lark How Long, Lark How Long, Lark How Long, Lao Carlung directed this one. He also directed um, Legend of the Drunken Master, one of the greatest Jackie Chan films of all time, if not the greatest Jackie Chan film of all time. This movie gets bonkers in the last act. I adore it. Great training sequences. Gordon Liu is just in his prime, in my opinion, here. Underrated, underrated action flick from the 80s. One of my favorite action flick from the 80s, The Eight Diagram Pole Fighter. Eight Diagram Pole. <laughs> Next up, speaking of Jackie Chan, sold off my Blu-ray, which I sold for a lot more than I bought this, I will say. Dragons Forever. This one I like quite a bit. has the uh, the rematch between Benny the Jet and Jackie Chan at the end. But I don't like this movie as much as Wheels on Meals. I prefer that one, but I still really like this one. This has more drama going on and like a romance kind of thing. But boy, does it have action. This is a three brothers film, of course. Yin Byo, Jackie Chan, and Sammo Hung. Love these three together. They just, they made a bunch of films together known as the Three Brothers. And just, they, of course, they went to school together, the Chinese opera school. And they grew up together. And man, did they have chemistry. Holy crap. Nobody, not enough people talk about the Three Brothers and all the great action films they brought us. But Dragons Forever is no exception. Love it. Oh, yeah. By the way, these all have slip covers here. Man, come drink with me. Chin Pei Pei. I've seen this film on DVD years and years ago and really, really liked it. Chin Pei Pei is awesome. I haven't seen enough of her movies. I think she's also in, like, My Young Auntie. Um, I remember a buddy of mine from work years and years ago um, recommending the films Come Drink With Me and My Young Auntie. Shaw Brothers Classics. Again, I sold off all of my DVDs and Blu-rays to fund these, and I made a good amount of money. I gotta be honest. So, these were no-brainers. They all have nice slip covers. And thanks to you guys, especially Leroy Green and Mjolnir and a couple others who really uh, gave me the okay with 88 films. They're basically saying, you know, they are trustworthy, they do good work, and I'm so excited to dig into their releases. Those are the first three from the box there. The box there, I should say the first box. Now, I also wanted to show you guys this one, 88 Films. Um, I got this a couple weeks ago, actually. This one was sent separately for some reason. Uh, maybe it was because of the release date. <sighs> Operation Condor. If you guys follow me on Instagram, at the board Cyborg, I talk about a lot of the films that I get. And, um, man, am I thrilled to have this. Finally, this is a film I grew up with, a film that is one of my favorites, and I've only seen it cropped, overdubbed, cut, and it's still one of my favorites. This has multiple cuts. The original Hong Kong cut, which I believe is, yeah, a never-before-seen extended version, 117 minutes long, original 235 aspect ratio, the original Hong Kong version. Oh my god, guys. I am so excited to watch this the way Jackie Chan intended. I know it's already one of my favorite films, so it's going to move up on my favorite films of all time. No doubt about it. But I had to show you this guy's this one as well because I already received this, opened it, and all that good stuff. So it's not technically part of the unboxing, but it's part of the 88 Films uh, collection here that I'm showing you. 
And let me make sure I got that in there safely. Yes. All right. So this is the big one. This has nine flicks in it. A little bit of everything, too. So as you will see, go ahead and... God damn it. This one kind of didn't cooperate as well as the first one did. But I'm using my strength. All right. Here we are. Here we are. Everybody. I'm going to take a sip of water. About to get very excited. <laughs> All right, now that I'm refreshed, we've got a little manifest here from 88 Films, uh, packed by Lumi. Thank you, Lumi, for packing these with care. <sighs> the Mighty Peking Man. Hell yes. Sold off my DVD, which was worth a good amount, I will say. And got the Mighty Peking Man, which is really the Hong Kong answer to King Kong. So... Just so much fun. This is such a fun kaiju-esque movie with the Hong Kong flavor. It's even wackier than a lot of the Godzilla films, believe it or not. Or at least equally as wacky. Mighty P. King, man. Love this movie. Can't wait to rewatch it on Blu-ray by 88 Films. Swamp Thing. I sold my Blu-ray, my Scream Factory Blu-ray. Had some special features uh, that this one doesn't have, I believe. Or maybe they have about the same... But I sold mine for around 40 bucks, got this for like 12. So it was a no-brainer. Now it was 12 pounds, so that's more like 16, 17 bucks US, but I still made money on it and funded basically another one of these. So again, no-brainer swamp thing. Now the reason why, the big reason why I actually traded this in, sold off my Scream Factory for this, this has the uncut version by Wes Craven. So apparently the uncut version has some extra boobies, like Adrian Barbeau's boobies. Gotta love that alliteration. And uh, so either way, I want to see the movie uncut. I want to see how it was originally intended by the director, Wes Craven, one of my favorite directors. Maybe it'll enhance the movie some. I, I don't know. It sounds like it will, to be quite honest. But who knows? I'm hoping they added a little bit more than just boobs. But either way, I wanted the uncut version. And it has the... Yeah, it says full uncut and uncensored European, European, European cut of the film. So it doesn't have the theatrical cut, I guess, which I'm totally fine with. I want it uncut, damn it. No censoring. <laughs> Next up, Anthropophagus sold my DVD. Again, my Shriek Show or what was my DVD? I think it was Shriek Show. I'm not exactly sure, but I sold my DVD off special edition which, with two discs and picked this up. Now, I did sacrifice, I believe, a cool... No, this actually has the interview, I believe, from the DVD copy. So, awesome. Anthropophagus is a film that I am not crazy about, at least the first time I watched it. Not my favorite Italian horror, but also not my least favorite. Joe D'Amato is a director that I can't really get into beyond... Uh, what was the one? Not Beyond the Darkness. Oh, man. Yeah, was it Beyond the Darkness? I think. I think I've seen that one, too, and I wasn't a huge fan of it. I like these movies, but I'm not blown away with uh, with them like I am with Fulci's films and Argento, things like that. And maybe that's unfair to compare D'Amato to those guys, but Anthropophagus, got it on the Blu-ray now. Very excited. 88 films. Gracias. Now we got some cool stuff. Bunch of these I haven't seen. Picked up a bunch of Hong Kong horror flicks. Seeding of a Ghost, which is one that's been on the list for a long time, directed by Chun Chun Yang, Chun Yang, and uh, I've not seen this one, but it's a horror flick that has some really, really creepy imagery on the front, and a creepy ass title, Seeding of a Ghost. Can only imagine what this is gonna be about. <laughs> Restored, uncut. That's what's so awesome about 88 films. They release all of these films uncut with multiple cuts sometimes. The way that they were intended to be viewed. This is another one I sold my DVD for. got like 30 bucks and picked this up for like 8 and you know, eight pounds, which is like $12, $13 uh, US, I think. Once Upon a Crime, a little comedy flick. John Candy, great cast. John Candy, James Belushi, Sybil Shepard, Sean Young. Great cast. I remember really enjoying this movie. Just a fun, goofy... Uh, Sh Agatha Christie sort of uh, crime caper comedy. Very good movie, though. Once Upon a Crime. Love John Candy, so. Oh, my God, yeah. Another uh, Meng Hua Ho film. Meng, Ho Meng Hua Ho did uh, Mighty, Peking Mighty Peking Man. This is The Oily Maniac. And it has Danny Lee, who is in The Killer, with uh, Cho Yun Fat and directed by John Woo, and also Super Infra Man, one of my favorite goofy movies, goofy uh, sort of uh, what is it? Tokatsu, Tokatsu, 
Tokusatsu. That's it. Tokusatsu Films. Uh, it's cr a crazy movie that's sort of a, a mix of um, Super Sentai and Godzilla. And it is incredibly awesome. Obviously from Hong Kong, so it's super wacky. A lot of lasers, a lot of awesome costumes, a lot of fantastic effects. The Oily Maniac is sort of a, a monster flick here. And it's got a, cr a character, a creature named the Oily Maniac. I think it's played by Danny Lee. I'm not exactly sure. But this seems to be an old school sort of Hong Kong answer to a lot of the old school American horror flicks, monster flicks. So it definitely reminds me of one of my favorites, The Incredible Melting Man. So it has a lot of the same imagery going on here. I can't wait to watch this. So glad to have added this to the collection. Next up, Masked Avengers, another DVD of mine that I sold and pretty much funded this. So can't, can't go wrong with this. I think this is a Venom's film. It's a Chang Che film. And uh, let's see. Yeah, I'm not exactly sure if this is a Venom's movie, but it does have Philip Chung Fung Wa, uh, Kwok. Philip Kwok was um, in Hard Boiled. He played the Mad Dog. I think his name was Mad Dog. And he was sort of the glasses, the leather on the boat motorcycle. He was sort of the badass, like henchman. Um, he's been in tons. He was one of the the, the Venoms, actually. So this is going to be so much fun. Siu Ho Chin, uh, Shang Chan, uh, uh, Feng Lu, Li Wang. Yeah, I, I recognize some of these names. I'm still learning my, my Chinese actors' names, my Hong Kong actors' names, especially from the Shaw Brothers era. I'm always learning this stuff. So, Masked Avengers, really excited to have this in the collection. Oh, another one I've been really, really wanting to pick up for a long time. Directed by Kui, uh, Kui Chi Hong. And that is Hex. Oh, man. This looks... Okay, so... Boxer's Omen, if you guys don't know, which still needs a Blu-ray, by the way. My DVD goes for over $100 consistently on eBay. I will never sell it until it <laughs> a Blu-ray is announced, at least. Um, that film is one of the most insane films I've ever seen in my entire life, and I think ever will see. Hong Kong does horror unlike anywhere else. It is acid-induced insanity, and has obviously has a lot to do with their culture and rebelling against the culture in a lot of ways and it's just wonderful stuff disturbing stuff that this boxer's omen disturbed the hell out of me anyway hex is another one that i've heard is in the same realm i don't know if it's by the same director i don't think it is could be wrong on that but hex is another one that i can't wait to see it's going to be blasphemous it's going to be uh, rebellious it's going to be creepy it's going to be evil all those things we love about horror and especially hong kong horror man can't wait to check out hex so excited to have this one yeah they have a whole 88 films has a whole selection of hong kong movies um that a lot of hong kong horror movies some of which i still want to pick up before they go out of print last but certainly not least now i haven't seen this film miracles jackie chan this is one i'm savoring this may be the final Jackie Chan film, besides his stuff from the 70s that he's directed, that I've yet to see. This is his love letter to the old musicals that he loved, that he grew up with. The old American musicals. Hollywood musicals, I'll say. This movie just looks like so much fun, man. Oh, man. It has the original Hong Kong cut, which is called Mr. Canton, Mr. Kenton and the Lady Rose, and the international cut, which is called Miracles, also known as Black Dragons. The Hong Kong cut is 20 Hong Kong cut is 20 minutes longer. Original tracks, oh, 88 films. You guys do such a great job. Thank you so much for all these fantastic releases here that I'm looking forward to digging into. Granted, I haven't watched any of these, but they do they put so much care into sourcing these movies and packaging them that and and I know my my subscribers out there won't let me down with a lot of these releases. Man, I am so grateful to have been able to pick these up. I got I had a little extra money, and I splurged a little bit, so awesome. And at this point, it's kind of a tradition that I have some bonus packages for you guys. Of course, I've ordered these, but I have forgotten what they are, and, and I it's kind of a mystery, so it's kind of a mystery, you know. You know what I mean. So let's crack into this and see what it is. Been selling off a lot of my DVDs to upgrade. This, I think, is a DVD, though. Let's see what it is. Oh, yeah. So I had two copies of The Mystery of Chess Boxing, a 70s martial arts flick, and I sold them off 
to get the superior version. Tai Sung does the superior version as far as I've been able to tell. Ninja Checkmate, aka Mystery of Chess Boxing. This ha is the English language version, but I don't think there's a subtitle version out there of this movie. Martial Arts Heads, if you guys know, please feel free to let me know in the comments down there. But uh, Ninja Checkmate, this is actually one I haven't seen yet, so I'm looking forward to checking this out. Still sealed, got it for a really good price, especially after selling my other two DVDs, which were... I'll say of inferior quality. <laughs> Next up, what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? This one's packaged damn well, so thank you. Oh, I'm not going to say that. Mr. Kelly. Thank you, Mr. Kelly, for packaging this so properly. God. Maybe a little too properly. <laughs> no. No such thing when it comes to when it comes to collecting and movies. Good lord in heaven. Oh, yeah. Okay, so I had a panic attack a couple weeks ago, and I wanted to watch some Japanese horror, some older Japanese horror, like Onibaba, you know, in that realm, but something I hadn't seen. Ran over to my collection, and I knew I had Kuroneko and Kwaidan. I get to my collection, and I don't have either. And then I remember when I hit a rough spot a couple years ago, I had to sell them off about a year and a half ago. And, man, why did I do such a thing? I guess I really needed the money. Hey, shit happens, right? Kuroneko, directed by Kaneto Shindo, Yabu no Naka no Kuroneko. This, I believe, is a it's a, a short story compilation, I think, or no? Maybe that. Maybe I'm thinking of Kwaidan. I haven't seen either of these, but I got this for like 18 bucks um, on on Blu-ray, Criterion Blu-ray, of course. So I am so glad to re-add <laughs> re-add this to the collection. Uh, after selling it off from a after a rough patch last year. So Kuroneko, great stuff. And last up we have what feels like another Blu-ray. I have an idea as to what this could be. I think, I'm not gonna say anything yet, but, oh man, this is like Christmas to me. <laughs> it's like Christmas. <gasps> oh, yes, finally, I have rectified a glaring hole in my uh, collection. Stay tuned. One of my favorite films of all time. One of my most nostalgic films. I just talked about this one recently in my top, top 10 films of 1992. This was number 10. And I also talked about how I needed to upgrade to Blu-ray. I didn't realize my DVD was worth so much. I basically paid for this by selling my out-of-print DVD. Thank you, Sony Pictures, for releasing this on the blue so excited to add this to the collection. Love this movie. John Ritter gets an evil TV remote and is surfing through the channels and they're all super satanic and weird and Jeffrey Jones is the devil and him and his wife are finding their love, their spark again. Magical film. Love, stay tuned, funny, imaginative, creative, arguably my favorite Peter Hyams movie. I adore this one. I just want to thank you all for checking out this unboxing video. It was a good one. This was a doozy, man. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Like I said, I had a little bit of extra money. Not much. I don't have much of that. But I uh, I splurged a little bit on 88 Films. And I encourage you guys to check out their site. It is fantastic. They do great work. Again, I haven't seen any of their transfers, but I've heard that they're excellent. And the packaging and everything, I've already said it. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'd love to know what some of your favorite releases of the ones I've got here, that the ones that I've showed off here are. So feel free to leave those down in the comments below. <laughs> we'll get a little discussion rolling. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel and want to see more videos like it, go ahead and hit the subscribe button, as well as the little bell, 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 bell bell for notifications anyway guys i will see you all next time board cyborg out i can't feel my legs i'm gonna go cry now see ya <laughs>